Hello friends, today I am going to share with you question number 22, booklet B, uh, CSIR net December 2017. The question is, S be the set of all the functions from R to R which satisfies this condition. And what is that condition? There exists epsilon positive such that for each delta positive, mod of fx minus sorry mod of x minus y less than delta implies mod of fx minus fy less than epsilon so we have to check these four options the first option is all these functions are continuous second is all these functions are uniform continuous third is a bounded fourth is a constant so which of the following is true so uh, uh, this uh, condition given in the question uh, it looks like condition of uniform continuity but actually it is not a uh, definition of uniform continuity there is a big difference in it in the definition of uniform continuity there exists a delta not for each delta for every given epsilon there exists a delta not for each delta so this definition is different from the definition of uniform continuity so to solve this to check all the options i consider a function what is that function fx is equal to 10 by 1000 when x belongs to a rational set of rationals and 9 by 1000 when x belongs to set of irrationals so this is a function now i am going to prove that this function satisfies all these conditions this unique condition of this set s and this function belongs to s now how clearly there exists epsilon is equal to 1 by 10 i select this epsilon such that for each delta positive mod of x minus y less than delta fx minus fy is equal to 10 by 1000 9 by 1000 uh, difference of these two numbers is 1 by 1000 less than epsilon 1 by 10 so why i choose uh, this value of fx is 10 by 1000 and this value of y fy is 9 by 1000 because if x belongs to rationals if x belongs to rationals then fx is 10 by 1000 here if x belongs to rationals so fx is 10 by 1000 and y belongs to irrational then fy is 9 by 1000 the difference of these two numbers is 1 by 1000 which is less than 1 by 10 that i select epsilon here epsilon is 1 by 10 now what should be the next case maybe it is possible that x uh, uh, does not belong to q and y uh, y maybe belongs to q so there maybe there is a difference so we have to discuss the next case the next case is similarly again i select epsilon 1 by 10 because here uh, the epsilon is unique the epsilon exists only a single time so we cannot change in every case this epsilon so again for each delta delta may be any number you can change it it may be any number for all delta the conditions should be satisfied here it is written that for each delta so for every delta the condition should be satisfied now what happens fx minus fy if x belongs to x belongs to rationals and y also belongs to rational then what is if x belongs to rationals and y belongs to rationals then what is output of fx it is 10 by 1000 and what is output of fy it is 10 by 1000 so difference of these two numbers is 0 0 is less than 1 by 10 so again fx minus fy is less than epsilon so again this condition is hold for the second case also and the last case is both x and y may be irrational then what happens x 
is irrational and y is irrational then what happens fx is equal to 9 by 1000 and fy is equal to 9 by 1000 because I define here the function fx that x belongs to irrational then output is 9 by 1000 so again difference of these two numbers is 0 so again it is less than epsilon now it is proved that it is clear that fx belongs to this set now test the options fx is not continuous function you can easily check that fx is not a continuous function therefore it is not uniform continuous function also these two outputs are different so it is not constant function so we have to take only a single option and we definitely we have to take that so correct option is this third so third option is your answer so uh, be aware be careful that this condition is not the condition of uniform continuity thank you